indeed, when dealing with corruption, skepticism is a pretty good utility. Do you think we should be worried at all, like, like if, if he gets confirmed? Should we? <clears throat> Can we worry? Can we? Should we? That he could sort of start a, a real no vaccine culture and, and put that into public policy? No, Brian, I don't think that. I mean, I'm probably one of the biggest advocates for vaccine. You mentioned that I, when I was CDC director, I would say that I think uh, uh, vaccines are the greatest gift of science to modern medicine, and I still believe that. Kennedy's not anti-vaccine. What Kennedy is about is transparency about vaccine, honest discussion about vaccines, asking for the data to show that these vaccines are safe. Because he's not anti-vaccine, he's pro-transparency. We know that that's a perfectly reasonable position. Pro-transparency, what a great position. A position that could be mapped onto many government departments. Now, because the media and the sources and resources from which the media get their information know that we'd be sympathetic to that, well, transparency, that's a good thing. Being skeptical and having conversations, that's a good thing, right? Because they know that you'd agree with that. What they have to do is amplify the charge to Kennedy and say he's an anti-vaxxer, he's a lunatic. In the same way that they have to tell you that Trump is Hitler so that you don't vote for Trump. How did that go for them? They have to say that Kennedy is a lunatic, a kook. He strapped a whale to his head. He's got a worm that lives in his mind. He killed a bear in Central Park with the tip of his dick. Don't let him be in charge of your kid's medicine. When in fact all he's actually done is said, should we just have an honest conversation and have access to the data? Thank <laughs> you.